Hello and welcome to Digital Goulash. My name is Chucky and today we're going to take and recreate the Dave Hill effect in Photoshop Elements. Now I didn't know who Dave Hill was or what his effect was, so I looked it up. And well, this is what I came up with. I came up with a lot of pictures that are desaturated, almost cartoon-like, with HDR looks to them and high contrast on the edges. So let's go ahead and give it a go. Now the first thing we need to do is go to Edit Revert. You won't have to do this. What you'll do is you'll just go to File Open and open one of the photos that you want to do this to. Now I am going to duplicate this layer and if you've watched any kind of Photoshop tutorials you know that we love Command or Control J. So let's press that twice and make two duplicate layers on top of our background layer. Now on the very top layer here we're going to add a filter which is the magic of this and that is a high pass filter so if you go to filter other and we go to high pass here it's going to give us this grayish looking image as we swing this dial to the right you can see that the edges get more pronounced and more contrasty so let's go ahead and swing it all the way over give it a real high contrast look this is going to vary depending upon your picture. Mine is somewhere between 12 and 14. We're going to select OK. Now this gray isn't very good when it comes to pictures. So we're going to have to change our blending mode into hard light. And what that is going to do is it's going to give us that nice contrasty edge to it. Now I like this so much that I'm going to duplicate the layer again with another command or control J. Now I know it's getting a little gritty. We're going to fix that before we're done. What I'm looking at right now is the edges and how much of a contrasty edge that we have here and it's looking really good. Now some of these areas are a little bit dark so I'm going to click on the layer one and I'm going to change that to screen mode and that's just going to brighten things up just a little bit. Now, I'm kind of happy with the way it's starting to look here, so I need to merge all these layers together. Now, if we go to Layer, we can go to Merge Visible. There is a shortcut for that. That is Shift-Command-E or Shift-Control-E. I'm just going to show you in the menu to merge the visible layers. Now, what we need to do is we need to get rid of some of these highlights. And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to go to Enhance, adjust lighting, shadows, and highlights. Now the very first thing when you open this, it automatically lightens your shadows by 25%. That might be just a little bit too much for you, so I'm going to swing that to the left. I'm going to start to bring it over. We want to get rid of some of those shadows, but not all of them. So once again, this is going to depend on your picture. So swing it to the right, depending upon what your picture looks like, and stop when your shadows start to go away. Now what we need to do, this is the important one, take and darken your highlights. Now what we want to do is we want to make sure that these super saturated, super high bright lights here are taken away. So as I swing to the right, you can see that a lot of those highlights are being brought back, which also gives it that real HDR look to it. And as you can see, there we go, the highlights are starting to go away. But as we do that, we start to get some of the edges here, some of the dark crinkles in his shirt and everything in the shadows. Those are not quite as black as we want them to be. We want these to be really high contrast. So if you look at the mid-tone contrast, we're going to swing that to the right. And as you see that these wrinkles in a shirt or the edges of the neck or anything like that, as they start to turn dark black, there we go. Nice and contrasty now. Now when we're happy with that, we're going to select OK. Now this is a little bit too gritty for me. It's got a little bit too much noise on here and how we can do that, get rid of that is to do a Gaussian blur filter. And if once again, if you've ever watched a Photoshop tutorial, you know that we love Gaussian blur. So I'm going to select Command or Control J one more time go over to filter, go to blur, and go to Gaussian blur. Now this once again is going to be by taste. We don't want too much blur but we do want, see there's that grit that's in there 
we're going to swing that to the right as some of that grit starts to go away but it's still nice looking so mine's around 2.6 or so I'm going to select OK now the problem with some of this is, is if he had uh, if he wasn't wearing his sunglasses and his eyes were showing here the eyes would start to get a little bit muddy so what we're going to do is we're going to select the eraser tool we're going to choose brush as the mode and we're going to take this opacity 40 percent or so and we're going to select right here and we're going to erase and kind of cheat around the glasses or around the eyes and what that's going to do is it's going to sharpen the eyes up but the rest of the photo is going to have a nice blur to it so that it's not quite as gritty as soon as you're happy with that we can do a command or control E and what that does is that merges the layers down so there we have it the Dave Hill effect starting from our original photo we did a few different layer blending modes we did a couple high pass filters we did some blurring and now we have this nice contrasty edge and this real HDR look to it my name's Chucky this is Digital Goulash if you Love this tutorial. Give me a couple thumbs up. Please give me a comment. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to my videos. Cheers!